Okay friends, it's time to get started on our job. One of the first things you want to do is safely raise and support the front of the vehicle so the wheels off the ground and the suspension's hanging. After that, continue on by removing all four of your 19 millimeter lug nut covers, then all of your lug nuts. Let's remove the wheel. Now that we have the wheel off of there, we have a nice clear view of our tie rod ends. In between the inner and the outer, you're gonna find a jam nut. What we have to do is turn this jam nut clockwise, the opposite of what you might think. It's gonna bring it up the inner tie rod in a little bit and break this joint free. For this, I'm just gonna use some long pliers. Now once you have movement in this area, we can continue on down here to the outer tie rod end nut. To remove this, we're going to use an 18 millimeter socket. Now we can start separating the outer tie rod end from the knuckle. To do this, typically you're just going to want to use a hammer. You can go ahead and give this a couple loving bonks and the vibration should want to break this free. You could also use a pickle fork. You just want to be careful not to damage anything along the way. The next thing we're going to do is start unscrewing the outer tie rod end from the inner tie rod end. Now as we're doing this, we're going to count the amount of times it takes to turn this to remove it. That was one two, and so on. There we are. Go ahead and write down that number. Now that we have the tie rod off of there, let's just give this a quick inspection. We wanna make sure that it doesn't look like it's rotted or damaged in any way. Assuming it looks good, let's go ahead and apply a thin amount of copper never sees. Now it's gonna be time to install our outer tie rod end. When we go to put this on to the inner tie rod end, you wanna make sure that you turn it the exact amount of turns that it took to remove it in the first place. One, two, and so on. Now, once you feel as though you have it turned in the proper amount of turns, let's continue on by putting it down and into the knuckle. After that, we can put on our outer tie rod end nut. Now let's bottom this out. Once it's bottomed out, we can torque this to 18 foot-pounds. The next thing you want to do is pay attention to the stud right here. If you were to look at the tie rod stud, you're going to find a hole that comes through it. And looking at the nut, you can tell it's a castle nut with a whole bunch of slots. At this point, you want to match up the two. If you find that one of the slots is not lined up with the hole, just continue tightening this nut until the very next slot does. After that, go ahead and put in your locking cotter pin. Now let's bottom out the jam nut against the outer tie rod end. Let's snug it. The next thing you want to do is pay attention to the outer tie rod end. We want the tie rod end to be parallel to the ground. Looking at this, you can tell that it's a little pivoted and that's okay. I'm just going to go ahead and grab onto the outer tie rod end and straighten it out.
With the wheel safely on the ground, let's go ahead and torque this to 100 foot-pounds. Torqued. If you have a hubcap, go ahead and put that on now. You're going to want to pay attention to the valve stem hole. That's the cutout right along here. Line it up with the valve stem. Everything else should line up perfectly along the way. After that, go ahead and take your 19 millimeter socket and we'll just go ahead and bottom these out. You don't need to use an air gun for this. What's left to do now? Now, of course, you're going to want to get yourself safely down to your local alignment shop. Thanks for watching.